Hi, have you ever opened a model, went to a particular element that was already placed inside the file, and then wasted valuable time trying to remember or figure out what the symbology of that element was, only to guess, then place it wrong into the file and have to spend more time fixing it after the fact? Well, there's an assigned command in the button assignments in the MicroStation Connect Edition that can help. It's a combination of the Alt key on the keyboard and the data button on the mouse. Here we have several elements, such as the existing property lines shown in red or subdivision lines shown here in purple. It's simple to use. Move the cursor over the top of an element, hold Alt on the keyboard, and data point on the element you are looking to match the symbology of. Note the current active attribute settings. If I hold Alt down on the keyboard and pick a data point on the mouse over the top of an element, by default, it sets the active symbology to match the symbology of the element selected. This ensures that the next design element drawn will match the symbology of the original element. This is a great tool that's been in MicroStation for a while, but may be underutilized. However, what if we want to match the text attributes or a hatch or a pattern? For example, I need to label Tierra Wood Drive further north along the road. Now matching the element attributes is fine, such as we just did, but I would rather match element from cursor. This not only will match the attributes, but will allow us to match some of the text attributes as well, such as the text style. Now this is opposed to the default setting for all data, which is currently match attributes from cursor. I'll go to the backstage, settings, and under user, pick button assignments. Here I'll change the default match attributes from cursor with match element from cursor. Then I'll go back into the model. Just so we can see what text would look like prior to matching the attributes and text settings, I'll place a piece of text as a test to compare with. However, if I use alt data prior to placing that text and setting the template, now I would need to set the template prior to placement to ensure that the text is placed correctly and tied back to the template. This is the resultant text that matches symbology-wise, but also matches textile-wise. I'll place the text at the end of the drive, and of course I'll rotate the text relative to the geometry that makes up that drive, and I'll set the angle to be 90 off of that. And if I review the properties, we can see the correct symbology, template, and of course textile and format. Give all data a try, and consider changing it to the more robust tool of match element from cursor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.